This is the limited edition Coach Prime Motorola Razor. It's exclusively available at Boost Mobile and is very limited edition. It'll only be available for a limited time, but it just launched today on April 19th, as of the time I'm recording this, and I actually got the last one from my local Boost store. So in this video, we're gonna unbox it and check it out. So right off the bat on the outside, we do have the special edition sleeve that is a black and gold themed, says you gotta believe and uh, it's just the same thing on the other side now inside we do have the pretty standard motorola razor packaging nothing too special about it and um let's go ahead and open that up pop the top off and here we do have our warning to not remove the pre-installed screen protector the motorola razor is a really cool um foldable device the flip style foldable much like the galaxy z flip 5 and um i don't know if this gold like illustration here is supposed to be themed for the phone or if that's just standard um, but we're going to take the phone out of there and it looks like it's already sliding out of the rack so get that off there and here's what the phone looks like from the back now when i first saw this i definitely really liked the black and gold theme which i still do but this is just too many logos here we've got a boost logo motorola logo coach prime logo and the razor logo i do like that you gotta believe up here that's a nice touch but uh, just a few too many logos on the back, kind of make it look like a cheap toy, but I still think it pulls off like a really elegant look. And of course, we can flip it shut, just like, hmm, let's try it again. And of course, we can flip it shut just like that. And it looks pretty flat. I don't think there's any gap in there at all, so not a bad hinge. Uh, it's a little, a little flimsy on the end though and uh, nothing on the back here. Now up here on the base razor, we have the dual cameras along with this small, I believe 1.9 inch cover screen. On the higher end, larger Razer Plus, we have a much bigger screen that covers the entire outside um, top half of the phone, which is much like the Galaxy Z Flip 5, but for the budget or I guess lower end uh, razor model, we have the smaller cover screen. So let's open it up and power it on. And here we go. Now, when this was activated in store, um, it did have to be set up to activate it. But we can see here, we do have a custom um, Coach Prime themed wallpaper here. It says, you gotta believe once again, it's in the black and gold theming. And um, now we're kind of in the UI. We have a couple of pre-installed bloatware apps because that's just what happens when you buy a phone from a carrier. Now, if we close it shut, we have our cover screen where we can perform some certain functions. So, yeah. Open to continue, and we can actually customize what panels we have here. So you got the, well, I think the audio recorder should be able to record audio. Maybe that's just me. But yeah, we can also just turn on um, all these different types of panels to quickly access different things this is really convenient so we have our clock and we can swipe for our different functions that we customize so yeah we're all pretty cool you can swipe down here get some quick settings this is really nice for utility and yes it would be nice if this was a bigger screen like the galaxy z flip 5 or the razor plus but for the cheaper model this is still a decent bit of utility and it can definitely help you, for example, turn on your hotspot or turn on do not disturb without having to open your phone and get distracted by other things. Now the material we have here is definitely like a, kind of like a fake leather. It feels a little less plush than I expected, but it still does feel pretty premium. I prefer this to, you know, like glossy plastic or even glossy glass. And then we have what appears to be like an aluminum on the outside in gold. Gold and black here just does look really nice and really premium. So let's open it back up. And let's actually run a speed test on here because I do have a boost rainbow sim line activated on here. So let's just run a test and see how it performs. So we got our speed test app pulled up on the Razer. Strangely, it doesn't fill the whole screen and it's not optimized, but uh, oh well. Of course, I would be using coverage map, but it's not available yet for Android. So Ookla will do for now. So we ended that one with 411 down, 51.8 up, 40 ping and six jitters. So 
very, very good performance, very respectable. And um, yeah, I'm excited that Dish is continuing to build out this native network that's performing really well and uh, hopefully you don't run out of money. So that was the first look at the Boost Mobile Coach Prime Motorola Razor. It is a really cool looking phone. I do wish there was a little more effort put into it besides just the design of the phone. There's no special accessories in the box or anything like that. It was just the special edition phone and the sleeve around the box, but I don't hate how the phone looks and it's definitely a limited edition device that may be worth more over time. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to drop a like below, let me know, subscribe to never miss the next one, and I'll see you there.